Okay, something smells good. Mmm, it smells great. It looks great. Suma is here, registered dietitian, and we are making salad. We're using Mrs. Dash. What can I put in my salad? What or should I put? Well, let's put, start with some ingredients. Um, vegetables, of course, we've got some yellow pepper and green peppers and red peppers that can really spice up the spinach salad. And we're talking about cooking low sodium and without salt because today is World Hypertension Day. It is. It is, and around the world, one and a half billion people have high blood pressure and right here in Canada wow. five million over five million Canadians have high blood pressure so it's a good thing to c c uh, cut out salt yeah and we you know high blood pressure is the biggest risk factor for heart disease diabetes and kidney disease so cutting out salt from your diet is a great way to cut back on sodium and decrease your risk for hypertension okay so I'm so going to toss put that in, in. Yeah, you, you know, know you I'm putting them all in put them all in and some uh, red onions just and you know what seasonal vegetables or you can even add fruit if you want I'm gonna make the salad dressing which is so simple it takes 10 seconds so I've got some balsamic vinegar, okay. some olive oil. This looks like a great yep, it's salad. Great. And then I've got some orange zest. And I'm using some Mrs. Dash seasoning, which is no salt, which has no salt and no MSG. Okay. And uh, it ups the flavor of the salad dressing without adding any salt at all. So you just mm. whisk it. I mean, so can you smell it? Mm -hmm. And you just drizzle it around, give it a little toss, and then voila, you're done. Look at that. It looks great. So that's perfect for entertaining or a nice summer salad. Add some grilled chicken and it's your meal for the evening. There you go. Now we're going to make an appetizer or something that you can serve as a snack for your kids. So what I've done is uh, I've taken two avocados and you can help me just mash that up a bit more. And I've told you how I feel about avocado. <laughs> we both love avocado. Avocado, I could eat eight of them, and which is, it's a good fat, but you, you said it's got, you... it's got the good monounsaturated fats, right? But it does still contain quite a bit of fat. So right. you want to watch how much you eat. So maybe half an avocado half. a day would be good. Is that lemon? Yeah, no, that's, we could use lemon. This is lime juice and that just helps prevent mm. the avocado from turning a bit brown. Yeah. Dash of Tabasco sauce, kick up the flavor a Ooh, bit. Oh, I like this. And this is the garlic and herb seasoning blend. Okay. And you know what? If you like it more garlicky, just add more of the seasoning. Oh, I like it more garlicky, so but I. I don't know if other people My will like it. My kids don't, so they just add a bit, <laughs> but I garlic. add more. And then we take some tortilla chips. And, and this uh, is great for the kids, right? Well, the kids love, they love helping me mash the avocado, right? Yeah. You get a little fork and you mash it up. And then just take a little scoop, scoop it on, Ooh. add a little tomato, and it's a great appetizer or it's an after-school snack for the kids. Fantastic. Right. We've got uh, them on display right there. It looks beautiful. The ki kids will just gobble that up. Oh, yeah. If you've got a plate made, they'll gobble it up just like that. And we don't really want to introduce a lot of salt to our children's diet. So well, you, we want them to grow up without salt, really. Yeah, and you know, 93% of our kids are eating too much sodium. And in fact, the average Canadian adult eats about 3,100 milligrams of sodium. That's oh. twice the amount that we actually need. So we really have to learn to cut back. And by using salt, salt-free MSG ingredients, we can really cut back on the amount of sodium. Because there's reading. already salt in so many things that we consume. Yeah, so when we packaged food, processed food, fast foods are the biggest source of sodium in our diet. Right here. I love fish. Salmon is Me one too. of the best fish for the omega-3 fats, right? So we've added some seasoning here with um, over the salmon and in the pineapple uh, pepper salsa. So it ups the flavor without adding any salt. Mm -hmm. Pasta, I'm a big fan of pasta also. And we've used the garlic and herb seasoning blend there and a little bit of grated cheese on top. So that's a nice meal in itself too. Okay. And then my husband, he's the spicy guy, okay? He loves this. I love garlic and herb. He loves the extra spicy. So we make this Cajun chicken, which is done on the grill. And you just sort of put a rub with the uh, extra spice, um, extra spicy seasoning and um, a little bit of paprika. And there you go. There you go. Okay, you know what? If anybody wants to dig in there, Mark, why don't you take some of those right there on display. Uh, for more information, you can um, go to mrsdash.com. And of course, we are going to have all that information on breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much, Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Jen. Good. Enjoy. Thanks.